Hello y'all, I'm Nancy of Nancy's Notions and welcome to my channel. I'm a part-time reseller of pre-loved items. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, I will show you what I bought, what I sold, and how much I sold it for. Thanks for watching. Welcome back y'all. It is Thursday, October the 5th, and we have three sales today. Uh, two on eBay and one on Poshmark. So I'm going to show you those and then um, I'll show you the little haul from the um, Habitat for Humanity store that I picked up on Saturday where I spent a whole $9.88 I think. So let's get to it. First we have our Poshmark sale which is this TARDIS. It does make the TARDIS sound and then when you pick it up it makes the taking off sound and it makes the landing sound um, and the little light flashes on top so that was kind of fun to play with. I did pay eight dollars for that at a um, estate sale and then it sold for 20. It wasn't worth quite as much as I thought it was so. Our eBay sales um, we have this party lot nativity scene votive candle holder there's the party lot and i've had this i think since february i'll need to dust it off a little bit i paid three dollars for it and it sold for 20 and we have this set of four i'm not sure what kind of bowls you uh, dessert bowls appetizer bowls i'm not sure um, but they are Blue Mountain Pottery, and the they're not marked, but I did find them just by using the design, uh, Google Lens, and it's called Fairmont. Yes, Fairmont. I paid $3 for these at um, a yard sale earlier this year, I think maybe April, and they sold for $25. All right, I'm gonna get these packed up and then I will be right back, just like that, to show you what I got at the ReStore. All right, y'all, got the packages packed up, ready to go out tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you what I got at the ReStore. It was kind of a surprise to me too, because honestly, I'd forgotten what I bought. So let's take a look at it now. All right, I haven't researched any of these things yet, so I will put comps up on the screen after I take a look at them. Uh, the first one, I'm not sure what's wrong with his neck. Anyway, here is a Pluto, Pluto the dog plush. He is still wearing his Mickey, Mickey for kids, made by Mattel. I don't see a date on him, but this is the first stuffed animal that I've seen that comes with a two-year limited warranty. So, hmm. That's new. Anyway, we'll have to try to get his uh, neck straightened out so he sits up straight, but it's a pretty nice plush. I also found this goofy hand puppet, and he also still has his tag. Um, oh, let's see, I paid $2.50 for the Pluto. That can't be right. She only charged me $9. Oh, well. This has four fifty on it, but I'm pretty sure she didn't charge me that. Um, this is authentic, original Disney Parks. Oh, it's not a hand puppet. It's a golf cover. Okay, so it's a golf head cover. I guess it could be a puppet. Well, that makes it even better. All right, so we've got him. I found this little horse. I think it's a horse. He might be a donkey. But he looks like he's probably handmade has little button eyes. He doesn't have a tag on him, but he feels like he's made out of one of those, you know, like the Mexican blankets. But I thought he was pretty cute, and I have a pretty good luck with handmade plushies. I don't know what she charged me for him. He doesn't have a sticker on him, so maybe 99 cents. Looks like maybe he used to have a bow tie or something. Um, we got these two little planters for a dollar a piece. Uh, I suspect there were probably more. Um, they have a bottom on them, either not McCoy, um, Shawnee, 
maybe I don't know this one is that a potato I think maybe it is they both have a couple little now there's not be manufacturing doesn't feel like an actual crack anyway a potato and then this one I think must be a cucumber that has the same kind of bottom on it so those are kind of neat and then I found this little uh, kind of looks like a little cornucopia planter and it is probably along the same lines Shawnee McCoy I can't remember the other one um, but I just like its color it's you know just because it's kind of a gray and black instead of your normal oh look well see that's what happens i thought i checked it over so carefully and there is a repair but we'll list it anyway it's not really that noticeable whoever did it did a very good job of putting it back together. You can barely see, if it wasn't for that giant chunk that was gone, you probably wouldn't even be able to see it, so. All right. Okay, this is just a little, it's like a full apron, um, and I think it's made out of one of those, uh, a kit, because um, this is does have where it says head back on there. Um, but I thought it was really cute. And cows, cows never go out of style. There's always someone who loves cows. And then the apron part just looks like a field of grass and flowers. And I know that their textiles are by the pound. And this thing weighs nothing. So she probably cost me a quarter. Um, I picked these up. They were in this Ziploc bag for $1.50. And I just thought they looked interesting. I thought that they were, I couldn't really see them good in the bag. I thought that they were butter molds, but they're, this one is sea creatures and it says, is that 1984? Does that say 1964? Mattel. So that one's sea creatures. This one is bugs. Does say 1964. I don't know what this is from. There's a dragonfly and some beetles. And that's what the back looks like. And then this one is also beetles. And then it looks like a lizard. I wonder if they were supposed to have a top. I don't know. But I'll put up screenshots when I find out what they are. Um, yeah, 1964 Mattel. So this will be interesting to find out what these are. All right. So that's my little um, Habitat for Humanity or Restore haul. I'm curious to find out uh, what these things are worth that I picked up. I hope everybody else had a great Thursday and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello y'all. We're back in the shed and I've got a little Goodwill haul for you. It's been riding around in my car for a week so I figured it was about time to get it out and uh, let's see what we bought. Again it's another batch of things that I kind of forgot what I bought so um, I got this last weekend. Today is Friday, October the 6th. Um, I also have one sale today on Poshmark, and I'll show you that also. So, we got quite a bit of things, quite a bit of stuff, quite a bit. Um, first is this uh, Kermit the Frog here, and there's a flaw. Oh, um, it is on the Muppets tag. It doesn't have a date. Um, but it's an adult hat. I thought it would be a kid's hat, but it fits me. So, uh, I don't know. My, a large kid, small adult. But it's pretty clean. The brim's not broken or anything. Um, hats at my Goodwill are... A dollar ninety nine, I think. They're either dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine. So we also got some new in the package glass pottery barn uh, cocktail picks, set of four, and those were ninety nine cents. I 
found this pair of, what are these? Spanish galleons? I don't know. Ships, some sort of ships. They're not very tall, maybe, I don't know, five inches. Let's see. Yeah, about four and a half inches high. They are cast iron. And I paid more than I wanted to, but I really like them. And I usually do pretty good with little cast iron things. Um, they were $3.99 a piece. So. We also got this statue. I'm not sure if it's stone. And it looks like, it's kind of hard to see. Hold on. Um, if it's stone or, I don't think it's ceramic. It's too heavy for that. It does have a sticker on the bottom. Let me see if I, I paid $2.99 for it. So let me see what the, see if we can see what the other sticker says. Okay. It looks like it says, especially made in Kenya for the earth, no, cart. Earthbound Trading Company. So, some sort of stone, maybe like soapstone. So, we'll have to research that. It does have like a scratch right there. But other than that, it looks to be in pretty good condition. So, we found this monkey teapot. Funny story. The couple of days, actually, I think it was the night before I found this, I watched a niche lady video where she found one of these without its head and made a point to put a comp on the screen of what it would be with the head. And lo and behold, the next day, I found one with the head for $4.99. And it looks to be not have any chips. It does have crazing, but I think it's on purpose. And then there is a mark right there on the bottom, but I'm not sure what it says. It does have a made in China sticker and then a barcode. So there, it's probably like a, I don't know, a Hobby Lobby, maybe a Pier 1, someplace like that. Um, there was also a big bowl that had monkeys on each side and it was really nice except the ears on those monkeys were broken and it was $7.99 so I passed on that. But I did get this teapot because, well, mostly just because I saw it on the niche lady and knew that it had uh, some value, um, I think around $35 to $40. So, found some plastic horses. I think these are from the 90s. I don't think they're briar horses. Uh, where's the words? Let's see, yeah, just made in China, 1995 Empire Industries. And these two, this brown one and this gray one, are both that same brand. And they do have their saddles and their bridles and everything. They just need a little cleanup. And they were $2.99 a piece. And then this one, um, whoop, does take batteries. It is 1996. Also, Empire Industries, uh, made in uh, made in China, and he was three ninety nine. I'm gonna see if I can get that battery compartment off, and hopefully, it's not too messed up in there. I don't know what he does. He does have articulating legs, so we'll see. As expected, here's some very corroded batteries. So I'm gonna take them out and put some new ones in and see if he does anything. Okay, well, it looks like. It at least partially works anyway. Hold on. My leg doesn't do anything. It just ticks. Ah. And I don't know. The 
tail is also very loose. It doesn't do anything. The tail does turn around like freely, but I don't, it doesn't make him do anything. So, and I think that's the way he's supposed to sit because his legs are naturally in that position. So. Legs and snorts. All right, on to the next. <clears throat> We've also got this robot guy. I, I just got him because he looked kind of interesting. He reminds me of something off Doctor Who. I don't know what he does. Let's check his battery compartment and see if he works. All right, so he takes four double A's, two in each foot, and these battery compartments are nice and clean. The batteries weren't corroded, so hopefully they were just dead. Let's see if he works. Okay, well, he does that. Is that all he does? He's got wheels on his feet. was um, $2.99. And what does it say on the back? It says Turner, Turner Entertainment Company. I have a date on it, so that'll be fun to look up. All right, and then um, we got another one of these little nursery lamps. I do have one um, that hasn't sold yet. Um, I did test this one in the store and it does work and it's just like a little soldier and the light bulb is back there in the back. He was $4.99 and you take the light bulb out under there and it is the, um, what is it called? Nursery plastics. So, I might lot those up together and sell them together since I haven't had any interest in the one by itself. So, and then I found these two oh so 70s. Um, this one is a condiment and relish set. And then that one is a, a two tiered serving tray for, um, cookies or whatnot. And I think that they were someone's uh, wedding gifts. I think it's this box. Let me open it. Oh, um, the condiment set was $4.99 and then the tray was $7. No, $5.99. So let me open them up. They're still sealed. Everything's still sealed up in the plastic. This is the little handle and this little stem goes somewhere. But Look at this has a wedding, a wedding gift. And this was a gift for Bruce and Linda. Sincerely wishing both of you lots of joy and dreams come true. Love always, John, Audrey, and Jennifer. So, uh, I don't have a date on it. Charm craft. So these must have been wedding gifts. And then, yeah, still has the sticker on it and everything. These are so cool. Let me get the other one out. This one, it doesn't have any plastic in it, but the box, everything was all still in the box like it would have come new. Um, maybe they took this out once, but then that unscrews and that's how you make them go together, so. Very cool. Um, they're probably not worth as much uh, 
their worth is probably not equal to their cool factor, but uh, hopefully someone will see these and need them in their lives. So I hope that you enjoyed this little Goodwill haul. Um, I'm going to get these things cleaned up and photographed so I can work on getting them listed. Um, we do have a, um, like a highway sale going on. Well, it's been going on since Thursday, but I didn't take any time off this week to go since I did that last week. Um, but it's the 411 highway sale. And, um, so I'm going to run up to, um, Benton, which is the closest town where there'll be quite a few people set up there. There's lots of space along the roadway for people to set up. So hopefully I'm going to be able to go to that in the morning. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit chilly here, so that'll be nice and hopefully keep away anybody else that might not want to get out in the cold. So we'll see what we find there tomorrow and I will show that to you. Oh, I also have the one Poshmark sale. So our one Poshmark sale is this set of four, I guess there may be like little dessert bowls or uh, whatever, um, but they are Williams-Sonoma, and I can't tell you right offhand what I paid for them, um, probably a couple dollars maybe, be, maybe 99 cents a piece, I don't even know where I got them, um, but they sold for $25 on Poshmark, and that was a full price sale, so that's nice. All right, I hope that everybody else has a great weekend and finds some fabulous treasures, I hope that I do, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, sept uh, not September, October the 8th, and I'm going to show you I have three sales from yesterday, and then I'll show you what I picked up at the 411 yard sale um, yesterday also. So let's get to it. All right, so we have two eBay sales and one Macari sale. Um, the Macari sale is this transformer and I'll have to ship him just like this because I have no clue how he transforms. Um, anyway, he came in the um, big uh, free toy lot that I got. So zero buy cost and he sold for $15. On eBay, we sold this uh, Gerber recoil multi-tool and I had it listed for $50, and someone sent me a $40 offer, and I took that. Uh, this was my husband's, so um, I just put zero buy cost. I don't know how long we've had it or what he originally paid for it. And then our little copper teapot, it sold. Someone sent me an offer of $12.50, which I took. I'll probably either just break even or lose money on this, um, just because it was after I got home and I noticed that it was broken. Um, cause I did pay $6 for it at an estate sale and again, sold for $12.50. So I'm going to get these packed up and then I'll be right back, uh, with my yard sale hauls from yesterday. Um, so the first sale I stopped at yesterday was not on the 411 road. Uh, it was a local sale. It was about five minutes from me. Um, but in her pictures, she had some of the Looney Tune glasses, uh, 73 and 76. So I wanted to stop there and see if they were any good. I've had a set of those in the past and did pretty good with them. Um, turned out I, I didn't buy them. She really wanted too much for them. And there were a couple that were cracked on the edges. And the 73 ones that she had weren't the ones that were really desirable. You want to look for like the... Um, the baby chicken hawk from Foghorn Leghorn. I can't remember his name. Henry? <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez's friend. Slowpoke Rodriguez. Those are the two that, um, I mean, the rest of them still bring pretty good money, but I had a Slowpoke Rodriguez and I sold that one glass for $95. So keep an eye out for that one. Um, she did have a Speedy Gonzalez, which is also pretty good. But she didn't want to sell them individually. She really wanted to sell them all together. And she wanted $90. And I declined. <laughs> but I did get some other uh, pretty, she had a lot of pretty good stuff. And I spent $10 for all the things I'm about to show you now. We got this uh, green owl cookie jar. And 
and he doesn't have any chips or cracks pretty clean he's not it he doesn't have a name um, but you can tell that he's vintage and as I find comps for them um, I'll put them up on the screen so hopefully I can find a maker I just really liked his color unusual for an owl and the avocado green is usually a prop popular color to get for anything this planter um, it has kind of like a bamboo um, sorry I don't have all my lights on um, like a bamboo um, pattern on the outside and it is a McCoy and it has one crack here but I think um, I think it's funny that's where she put her stickers <laughs> Um, it, it is glazed over, so I think it's just a manufacturing defect, but this one was $2 and it is dirty. It has been used as a planner, but I think it will clean up nice. She had a boatload of salt and pepper shakers and, um, I probably could have got a lot more, but these were the ones that I found that I really liked. Um, these little cactus are really cute. They do say, I think it's supposed to say Orange Beach, California. Let's see if the other one has, no, this one's, I'll probably just scrub that off. But they do still have their little cork stoppers, both of them. So I thought those were cute. Cactus are pretty popular. These uh, gentleman moss is all dressed up in his Got his bow tie and his vest, so they were cute. Uh, they do not have their stoppers, but they are hand painted Japan. These two uh, little oriental figures here one of them has a stopper, one of them doesn't. Um, they say something, I think that she's probably salt. Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know what the words are on there. That one looks like M-A. And this looks like S something. So she looks a little angry. But we'll see if we can find them. They're just small. <clears throat> These are my favorite. These purple cows. Look how... How purple. It does have a little, just a kind of a little glaze chip on the tip of the horns, which is probably for their age. Um, they do have rubber stoppers, but they are marked Japan, so they might not be original stoppers. These are not shakers, but they're uh, Brazilian ceramics, um, which you can usually tell by just how shiny they are. The comb and the, the wattles and probably the beak too are a cold paint. So you can see how that's kind of coming off a little bit. But I thought they were very cute. I think they're chickens, hens. And then these little I think they're maybe like ladybugs or some kind of a little beetle. See their wings? See them wings? Uh, but this one, is that a broom? What is that? I don't know. They are not shakers either. Um, this one though looks like a newsboy, maybe. Those look like newspapers. So we'll do a little research and see what they are. I'm sure that they're vintage, but they're not marked. They were probably also Japan. <clears throat> and then I got the, this outer Tupperware, I'll probably just keep for myself, but we've got the um, Tupperware ice tups. So these are the little um, popsicle making set. It's probably newer just based on the color, 
but it looks like there's a whole set in there. There's a random fork. And then there are a couple of little three pairing knobs in there. So I'll probably just keep those for myself too. I like those that size. I don't know what those are worth, but it looked like there was a whole set and that they were in good condition. So I got those for a dollar. So it was five for the owl, two for the McCoy planter, um, and a dollar for these. So eight dollars for those three larger things. So all of the salt and pepper shakers she charged me two. So I'm gonna clear the table and then I'll show you the next round. Um, I'll kind of start with these textiles. This is just a little piece of uh, very 70s fabric it might be like maybe a yard or two yards just pretty heavy and it says house and home fabrics and draperies so it was a drapery screen print guaranteed best washable colors pre-shrunk residual doesn't have a date on it but I haven't unfolded it all the way but I thought it was very I mean somebody might, could use it to make maybe just one small curtain or cover a chair uh, you know just the seat of a chair or something so I know that there is money in vintage fabrics second I got this pair of small pillows all of this stuff was from uh, sales that were on the 411 yard sale trail. I only went just a couple of miles worth. And then there was one spot that I was going to stop at, but it was so crowded and packed. It was just like tents on tents on tents and RVs and people. And it was too peeply. <laughs> it was too peeply for me. So... Whether I left good things behind or not, I just, mm, nope. So I went to the ones that were a little more spread out. Um, these, uh, they're kind of like a rattan fabric, and they're not very big. Um, somebody has cut the labels off of them, and they're not zippered, so they're probably not old. Um, but I thought they were really cute, and I like the colors on them, so... And those will be easy to ship. Just a pair of small pillows. Um, I bought a handful of things from this lady and she charged me $5. So I don't know how much those will be. Also at her sale, I got this kitchen scale, which I just like the way it was shaped. It looks like a UFO. It's probably supposed to have a bowl um, but it looked like it was, you know, you can adjust the marker there. So hopefully I'll put something on there that I know how much it weighs and, and weigh it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was just cool by its shape. And just has a design number on the back. I don't see a brand name. Um, but I'm sure we'll find that when we're researching. I also bought this, um, like a travel backgammon set. It has the two plastic cups. Um, these pieces are magnetic. Are they magnetic? They stick to one another. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they're all there. Um, if I don't have all the pieces, I can probably, I can still just part it out. Um, and then we got the two cups, so. But it's in pretty good condition. Doesn't really have, it's not really messed up on the outside. And it's a little sticker. What does it say? It is a vintage set. It's made in Taiwan. So, do pretty good with backgammon sets her sale i also got it was a day for tupperware uh this condiment set it is missing one lid um but again all of the things that i just showed you i paid uh five dollars so 
Was it five dollars? Maybe it was seven dollars. It was either five or seven dollars. Um, but other than missing the one lid, it is in pretty good shape. So Tupperware. All right, and then um, I just bought this one thing uh, from this lady. It was two dollars, but this is a beautiful little teapot. Look at the glaze on that and a little white flower on the top, a bamboo handle. It is signed on the bottom. Clark. Let's see. Joe Clark. It has some more things stamped on there, but I thought it was really pretty and doesn't have any chips on it. I paid two dollars for that. And then at another sale I stopped at, uh, I got this glass for a quarter. I uh, might have to hit it with a black light to see, but um, it is hand blown. You can see the pontal scar there on the bottom, then with the little applied handle. I just thought it was really pretty. And again, that was a quarter. And then at another sale, I got this, again, very retro bean pot. Spoon and a fork on the front, and it's in really good condition. It doesn't have any chips or cracks on it. And the design is only on one side. It is a West Bend, and I paid $5 for that. And another, again, salt and pepper shakers. But look at these. Look at these little ants. I know we're about to be out of picnic season, but still, they're so cute. And I paid $2 for those. They are modern. Um, but I just thought they were neat. I sold some metal ants last year. They were little barbecue uh, ants. They were just little figures. All right, and then I stopped at one little kind of a resale shop. This guy has a store there. Um, this was not on the 411. This was on my way home, but I'd never noticed it there. We used to have a huge flea market on Highway 64, and it was there for many, many years, and it literally was just, it probably started out as like a chicken house, and then they just kept adding on and adding on and adding on. It was very ramshackle, and I'm surprised it stayed standing as long as it did, but um, it burnt down, and it was, it was a huge fire, um, and I felt really bad for people, because there are people who have been set up in there for years, and they lost all of their stuff. Um, but this guy used to be in the in the flea market, and then he just rented a building that was close by. So I went in there, and he had a lot of really cool stuff. Some of it priced a little high, but I did find um, these four little dishes. This got a, what is that? I don't know what kind of fruit. Maybe that's a lemon. This one's a cherry. This is a strawberry and an orange, and they might be like little condiment dishes or salt dishes, maybe. Um, they are Italian. And I got all four of these for $2. And then I found this little mosaic tile dish for $1.50. It's probably handmade. And then this little embroidery uh, shadow box with a rabbit, a duck, a puppy, and a mouse. And it was $3. And you can tell that it's old. It has initials TMM on there. So, Last yard sale I stopped at, this one was a... Um, it, they had huge yard sale signs out on 64 Highway. And then it was a nice little country drive to get in their house. And it was just at the end of a dead end road. And a couple of ladies set up out there in their yard. And they had a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of it was not things that I had any interest in. But I did get some linens. Uh, these are like 
small table runners, so maybe they would just go underneath something on a dresser. Uh, this one has a water lily on it, and it was 50 cents. And this one also has a water lily, but it uh, has color applied to it, and then this little green tatted edge. And it was a dollar. These two little tea towels, they were $2 a piece, and we'll, I'll sell them as a pair because they are the same. They've, got, they've come from the same uh, kind of pattern. But here we have a little eggplant lady doing her ironing. And down here, a little tomato lady. Looks like she's going out shopping. She's got her little cart and her parasol. So those were cute, little tea towels. And then the last thing I got there, don't ask me why. <laughs> My Little Pony Candyland. It was $2. Um, if the game itself is either incomplete or um, not worth selling, you know, in comparison to its size, I'll probably just part it out. It's got cards, and then you have the little, <clears throat> the little My Little Pony markers. But I think it's odd that there's only three. Oh, well. And then board, which also looks in good shape. So we'll see what it's worth. Um, again, I'll put comps up on the screen with what I find. So that's all uh, that I picked up yesterday at yard sales. Um, I had a good time. I was out about three hours, I think. And um, occasionally it crosses my mind. Hey, you're not making that many sales. Why are you buying these things? <laughs> but winter is coming. I um, used to be strictly a thrift store girl and I didn't do yard sales, but this year I really um, have made an effort to do more yard sales and I think I enjoy them more than thrift stores. So um, I don't know how much thrift store shopping I'll do in the winter. So I'm just looking at this as stockpiling inventory so I have things to list when it gets cold. It's kind of cold today. <laughs> I've got my jacket on. I think it got down in the 40s last night. Um, and I think it's going to do the same tonight. And then next week we'll be back in the 80s. So um, hope everybody else had a great weekend and found lots of treasures. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions. I wanted to thank you for watching. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again next week with another video. Bye-bye.